What's going on guys? It's Brian DeCosta. Welcome to my channel. Hi. <laughs> Just kidding. It's Amanda guys. What's going on? Welcome to the video today. Happy Wednesday, I believe this video is going up or whatever day you happen to be watching it. Brian and I are headed to the gym this morning. It's Sunday. This is the best time to go to the gym because it's the only time that the gym is like not super packed. So we're doing legs this morning. Um, and what we did this morning that I wanted to share with you guys that Brian found out actually, um, we decided that every morning we're gonna do positive affirmations, write them down and say them out loud. And one of my favorite ones from this morning that really helped me was, I am at peace with all that has happened, is happening, and will happen. So say a positive affirmation for yourself this morning. There's a ton of them on the internet. That was my favorite one from the morning, or one of the favorite ones. There's so many good ones. So head to the gym and getting a leg day in. I am taking two Norca jeans this morning from PE Science. I love this fat burner. I don't really use it for like fat burning purposes, honestly. I use it for energy. It does help with fat burning. Like any fat burner you take is going to have like some sort of stimulant in it. Um, a number of other ingredients, but like the main thing that a thermogenic fat burner does is just help increase your internal body temperature, which in turn could help you burn a few more extra calories during the day than you normally would because your body is like burning a little bit more and it's a little bit more warm. So I use this pill honestly because it's my favorite like happy pill like it reminds me of what the limitless pill would be like in real life honestly it just it makes me in a good mood it makes me feel good um, and it also gives me a little bit of energy boost so I'm gonna take two of these and we're gonna get a really good workout in What's up guys? I'm going to walk you through the workout a little bit. So I did not want to start doing any compound lifts today. I just wanted to do what I felt like doing, stuff that I haven't really done in a while, like hip thrusts. I haven't done hip thrusts in forever and they're one of the best glute exercises you could possibly do. And I know I get a lot of questions about them and setting up for the hip thrust is like confusing. So let me walk you through it. What you're gonna do is start by placing the bar away from you. You're going to put a band or a hip circle, I have a slingshot hip circle here, um, around your knees, like above your knees. You're gonna lay your legs flat and make sure there's a bench behind you. Make sure the bench isn't too, too high or too, too low either. And if you have a mat, place that mat over your hips. I like to, I like to fold mine in half so it's a little bit thicker. Then you're gonna roll the bar over your hips and then get your feet in place, which keep your toes pointed forward. Tuck your chin, it actually helps a little bit, along with bracing your spine. And then when you extend your hips, don't overextend your back, just extend your hips and then come up to a completely parallel position to the ground and don't overextend your spine. And that's how you're going to get an amazing hip thrust. <laughs> I did was kettlebell Romanian deadlift. So I just did a single leg Romanian deadlift, which is essentially just like this. So I made sure to, again, keep my balance. And it was really hard to do these with the kettlebell and really keep everything stable without letting my hips go side to side while doing this. So that's a challenge. So I challenge you guys to do that. some hamstring curls but with these hamstring curls I made sure to like keep my back um, on the on the the seat back there and then I kind of leaned back into it so I really really focused on my glutes with this so it was more of like a glute hamstring exercise and less of just a hamstring isolation it was killer and I did like a drop set with 60 pounds and then I went back down to 45 pounds a lot of muscle mind connection and then I superset it here with side crab walks these are really hard with the hip circle which is essentially just a really taut band 
Then I did some both glute abductor and adductor. So I did both. You definitely need to do both to make sure you're not underworking your adductors as well. You want your legs and knees to be completely stable. Whenever you're doing a squat or another compound lift, you want to make sure you're working the muscles surrounding your knees so they're stable. And that's why you should also focus on these and not just focus on the abductors, which many females just focus on because, you know, glutes. <laughs> I seriously cannot even explain to you guys the amount of happiness I have for my workout today. I like actually feel like doing it and I've never dealt with lack of motivation before in my whole life. Like I've always just loved the gym and like I love going and like even if I just didn't feel like it I would push through and it would be fine mentally but this last week literally mentally my body was just like no you're done um, and like physically I was obviously fine to like continue pushing like I wasn't tight like I wasn't like exhausted like I don't feel like mentally drained from the cut or anything um, which is interesting I was just like my body was just like nah like I don't feel like it you're not gonna do it and I would stop after like three exercises and it sucked um, it was not fun and I finally feel like today and yesterday I feel super refreshed um, I feel happy I feel <laughs> I feel like I'm like pushing through my workout and like I'm back to normalcy, which just feels really, really freaking good. Lastly, I ended my workout with some kettlebell squats and kettlebell swings, but more importantly, the amazing people in the back with the woman doing handstands and the guy using the hula hoop, way more important than my kettlebell squats, so. <laughs> workout I had a bite meals but I'm getting my next meal because I'm headed to the office and it's gonna be a massive salad and no better place to get that than Whole Foods like there's probably better places to get salads that don't cost like $11 but um, here we are <laughs> salads look so good so what I did was just get a little bit of them not like that much not enough to call it something more but I'll just account like when I make salads and Brian too and we make something that we can't just like weigh out and track and if you're trying to stay on track still um, estimating is your best friend I have estimated thousands of times before and I have also tracked thousands of times before so it might be a little bit easier for me um, to just look at something and say it's probably right around this amount of calories I account for almost everything or do my absolute best to but I don't make myself crazy over it if I don't get it perfect um, but I'll just look at all the ingredients and just track them separately and like a normal amount of serving a normal serving size or so uh, for each thing that I track perfect day today to hang out with a friend hey Maggie Hi, friend. we're Hello. getting dinner so um, can I ask you something for my vlog of course. have you ever felt out of touch with your workouts and how did you get back into it yes I do currently actually um, mostly because I left my coach a while ago because I wanted like freedom from structure but now I'm craving that structure back and it's really hard to find that without having a coach I guess mm -hmm. but I find that planning ahead like if it's a couple days if it's just one day or like an entire week really helps you stay back on track and kind of feel like you're accomplishing something in a whole so thanks you're welcome it is now nighttime magically because YouTube, my hair is just don't look at it. <laughs> I have a photo shoot in the morning. Vanity Planet asked me to review their teeth whitening product. I don't usually use teeth whitening products. In the past, I have gotten my teeth whitened once when I was a kid. When I got my braces off, I was like 13. I went to the dentist, I had the full procedure and it worked so, so, so well. Since then, it's been obviously like 10 years or so. I got it one, done once last year. I don't think it did a whole lot. I'm always really skeptical with teeth whitening stuff. I have the last like little tiny, little tiny bit of it tonight. It's essentially you do uh, six days of this and you put the stuff like the teeth whitening gel into this mouth guard <laughs> you leave it in your mouth for like 15 minutes that's probably the one thing i don't like about it is that you have to put it 
in like a mouth guard in your mouth for 15 minutes and you're like all drooly and it's kind of gross. I wanted to actually like make sure I did this to see if it worked. I did it for six days. I didn't do it six days straight, I should have, but I did it six days and this is like the last day of it. I did a video before. This is what they currently look like. In that video, I showed you like what it looked like before and this is what we're working with now. You guys can be, be the judge yourself if it worked or not. Um, but this is what Karen had to say when she saw me at the gym the other day. I walked up to Amanda and I, we're like mid combo and I'm like, wait a second, have you been whitening your teeth? There's, all I can do is stare at your teeth, they're so white. <laughs> oh my God. So I haven't seen her in like a week in that clip and she said that it worked, I don't know. But so I have worked with them before and I've used a lot of their stuff that they've sent me to review and I actually like use it. So I feel like with this, it's more of a compare the results and see for yourself type deal because it's like a before and after, like this is what my teeth looked like before and this is like what they look like after. There's a description box link for 80% off of this product. So again, it's totally up to you guys if you want to get a teeth whitening thing, but I just wanted to use it for my photo shoot tomorrow. So I'm excited for it. I have to get up super freaking early, like 5 a.m. I don't feel that great. Honestly, only because the week after my diet break ended was the week that I was kind of feeling like down and weird and like my training. I told you guys in this video that like my training has been kind of like super off, like my mind has just not been on it. So I still have gone to the gym, but I definitely like did not make progress because my workouts were like half of a workout, honestly, like my workouts were really half-assed. So um, I asked Maggie and today about how she recovers from like lack of motivation and she said having a structure is super helpful. Having like a plan when you go into the gym and saying like I'm gonna do this, 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 and this, and that's it. Stuff that I have found super helpful to get my motivation back was to plan a photo shoot, number one, just be like, yep, I'm doing a photo shoot. Um, doesn't matter what it looked like. I don't like diet for any of my photo shoots, honestly. Like I just do it, they're for me feel good and feel happy about myself. It, like just excites me to do that. So having that along with having like a, a mindset when I go in and say like, I'm just gonna do what I feel like doing today. And I that's like the worst advice to give. Honestly, that's like the terrible advice to give is like someone that is trying to be motivational and saying like, you can like, I have always said every single time on my Instagram story or Snapchat, if you guys have been following me for a while, I usually say like, you know what? I don't feel like going to the gym today but I'm just gonna do it because I know every single time I push through mentally and I don't feel like going and I go and it's like the best session ever. This wasn't like that, it was like very different. It wasn't like a let me just mentally push through because I just don't feel like it right now. It was just more of like a my whole entire being did not care to exercise. It was different. <laughs> that makes no sense but just going in and, and just trying to like have as much fun as I can and like just get the fun back into my workouts, I guess, is something that I've been trying to do to get my motivation back. Again, the cleanse helped me a ton, just like get my mind clear, and I just feel invigorated again. Like today was like a really good workout, and like I did like the whole thing, and I felt really good about it, and it was really good. I feel happy, and I'm excited that I have my motivation back, and if you guys are ever struggling with motivation, I've never known how to answer that question, ever, because I've never, ever dealt with that in my whole lifting career. I think I am over it. If anyone else has like dealt with it and overcome it, I would like to know what you guys think in the comment section. Just like let me know if there's anything that you've done to overcome that like complete lack of motivation. Anyways, photo shoot tomorrow. Footage is gonna be right here. Go. We're done. We're done. Woo! It's a wrap. That's a wrap. And it's like 8.30 a.m. Are you? It's 8.30? I don't know. It's early. Still. We didn't do any cardio today. We walked up a really tall flight of stairs. We did a lot of cardio. Rock. Welcome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Say bye to your favorite YouTuber. Bye, everybody. Mark. I'm not even really on YouTube, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, that was great.